Today talking about 10 powerful lessons that every trader must follow. Trading is a psychological battle, not only of tactics, but managing yourself, your emotional state, dealing with highs and lows, wins and losses, consistency, all of the things that require you to follow in order to achieve the results that you're after. Jesse Livermore, arguably possibly the greatest trader of all time, quote, a man must know himself thoroughly if he is going to make a good job out of trading. Everything you need to know is right there in front of you. If you haven't read Ed Edwin Lefebvre's book, Reminiscence of a Stock Operator, this book is dripping with wisdom, written roughly on an account of Jesse Livermore's real life. He made and lost a fortune of over a hundred million dollars three, four times back in the early 20s. And this book drips of trading wisdom that is still applicable today. Peter Brandt, market wizard, 40 year classical charting trader, mastering your craft. Peter's book, Diary of a Professional Commodity Trader, trading classical chart patterns, Peter's approach day in and day out, having strong opinions weekly held, but mastering your craft. Become a master artist at execution and your process, your daily process of how you approach and manage your tactics. Every little thing about your risk management, your tactical approach to the markets, Become flawless in mastering your craft. Dorian Yates. Now some people might say, what does Dorian Yates have to do with trading? Dorian Yates rose from being a skinhead in Birmingham, living in a council flat to become arguably the greatest bodybuilder of all time. And he did this through his own self-learning, he coached himself, his own self-study, meticulously keeping journals for over 10 years of every single workout and diet detail that he pursued on a daily basis. His goal setting, every little detail journaled for over 10 years, day in and day out. Everything's mental, you create your reality with your thoughts. What I like is the journey, the year round struggle to improve. Alex Temez and Bao Nagoyan, working one hour a day with simple, repeatable rinse and, re -pro rinse and repeat processes, a daily process that took Alex from working at Starbucks to earning over a million dollars a year and in 2021 earning three million dollars. A daily simple rinse and repeat process working one hour a day. Bill Lipschutz, the Sultan of Currency, self-taught. So many people want the positive rewards of being a successful trader without being willing to go through the commitment and pain. And there's a lot of pain. Bill has an immense amount of trading knowledge to pass on to traders, but the understanding that no matter what level of success that you achieve, there will be pain. Billionaire hedge fund manager Paul Tudor Jones who started from nothing and worked his way up in the industry, but also through trading. Don't be a hero. Don't have an ego. Always question yourself and your ability. Don't ever feel that you are very good. The second you do, you are dead. So when I hear traders telling other traders how good they are, I know they're either A, lying, or they're a few trades away from blowing up their account. David Goggins, and people again might say, what does David Goggins have to do with trading? 
David Goggins, if you haven't heard of him, read his story. Navy SEAL, U.S. Army Ranger. Took three tries to get into the SEALs before he finally succeeded. Mastering your mind and defying the odds. Arguably the toughest human alive. Master your mind because no one is coming to save you. Trading, no one can save you. You can have the strategy, you can have all the rules, but you have to execute. Nobody is coming to save you. Billionaire businessman and trader David Tepper. I was never afraid to go back to Pittsburgh and work in the steel mills. Being willing to fail to succeed, doing whatever it takes, and understanding that even if you need to go back and start again, that sometimes is what it takes. Ice Hockey Enforcer Ty Domi. Now this one's a bit close to my heart because it's a constant daily reminder of somebody that I played with who was willing to pay the price, who was arguably not the greatest player, shouldn't have made it, shouldn't have been drafted, but paid the price day in and day out, night in and night out, willing to do whatever it took to make it and succeed in professional hockey. Now that applies to trading, going out and having to fight the biggest, toughest opponents every single day in every game, just like trading, going up against bigger, tougher, better educated, better informed, better equipped, better financed opponents, and be willing to go to battle every single game. Played over a thousand games. I have 3,000 penalty minutes. I don't need people dictating to me how to do my job. When you have a process and a plan that works and you execute it, and you execute your edge, trade every single trade, day in and day out, you don't need anybody else telling you that it works or it doesn't work. You do your job. 16-year career in the NHL, over a 1,000 games, 104 goals, 141 assists, and 3,500 penalty minutes. Carving out a 16-year professional ice hockey career. Mike Bellafori, author of one, the, the book One Good Trade, The Playbook, and founding partner with SMB Capital. Always quoting, how good can we get? Training and developing seven-figure traders. Mike's quote, even though trading is so very challenging, you can do it. You must embrace the mindset to improve every day. Build from your strengths and develop your playbook. How good can you get? And of course, Gordon Gecko. Don't run when you lose. Don't whine when it hurts. It's like first grade. No one likes a crybaby. Summing it up, Paul Tudor Jones. Failure was a key element to my life's journey. Jesse Livermore talks about the game taught me the game and it didn't spare me the rod. These are all key elements in not only being successful, but consistently successful over time and bulletproofing your mindset to master the markets. Have a great week and may the markets go with you.